It's a big deal to be photographed by that man, George Pimentel. One of the best there is, usually right there, photographing celebs at some of the biggest and most glamorous parties, not just in Hollywood, but there's Cannes. Should be there right now. Tiff, any place where the stars gather, uh, you found George over the years. But not right now. Look how things have changed. And look what he's capturing now in this COVID-19 time. The life of citizens in Toronto and across this country as he launches a whole new project and invites other photographers to join him in documenting these times. So great to have George on the program this morning. Thank you for being with me and for sharing your gorgeous shots, George. Oh, thanks for having me. I've been following along on social media, so we're going to show as many of them as we can. But first of all, I want to find out how this, this all came about. As I mentioned, should be at Cannes this time of year, then the pandemic comes along, and I imagine travel stops, events stop, your bread and butter stops. Nobody saw this coming. Uh, yes, I should be at the Cannes Film Festival screaming at celebrities with 300 other photographers shoulder to shoulder. Um, it's okay. I think it's a great time right now to reflect, uh, it, it, you know, you know, things are, people are doing things that they've never done before, you know, and it's such as like, for me, I've gone back to my roots. I mean, this is, I feel like I'm 18 years old. I decided, um, you know, I was really, you know, the project started coming about when, you know, I found out I had distant relatives that actually um, passed away in, in 1918 at the Spanish flu. And I started researching photos. And what better way to like really educate yourself than looking at photos? Um, so I saw these incredible photos, and and I thought, you know, this has to be documented right now. And so I I, I went, I started taking photos on the streets, and I, I feel like I'm 18 years old again. I have no distractions from publicists or clients, and it's I'm completely focused on what I'm doing. The purity, and, the purity of the photography. Every day you go out and you've captured, and we're going to do this sort of thematically. What, first group, the elderly. Oh, it's it's just. You're gonna see, you know, this this breaks my heart because the first photo really um, was, you know, I took a photo of my father uh, and I went to visit him and everybody's gone through the window and go visit their parents. And I just thought like this, this is not normal. And the, the, the photographs that I've been doing is really all about like how people are adapting and how, how the change is, is happening. So I just, I just find it very, uh, very, you know, strange out there. But at the same time, we have to, like, you know, you know embrace the elderly and take care of them and be careful and, and practice our social distancing with them. And it's just, I wanted to document this. You know, In black and white, which is so striking, so evocative. So we're looking at the elderly. Just let's just pause for just a second because you mentioned the shot with your father and I just want to make sure we linger on that for just a moment. Tell me about this when you're in your car and that's your dad outside. My father is 86 years old. He is a photographer. I worked with him in my little studio, in my little studio in Little Portugal, and I went to go visit him. And you know, this is at this time. This was shot in April, so really, this was so natural. And it, you know, it, he came outside the house, and you know, he wanted to get some fresh air, and, and I, I, I didn't want to go outside, and so we we uh, we touched hands, and it was just a really nice moment. I'm sure everyone has gone to senior citizens' homes and experiences too. So, are you shooting with your right hand up in the air, just happening to? Grab and, that, and, that's, and that's the whole thing is that you could use a cell phone and, and you know and, and you could you can do anything as long as you're like you know capturing emotion so we'll take a look at i want to show your one of the areas is essential workers maybe we can pull these up as well the first the responders who are doing such heroic things on the front lines you've captured them as well george as i'm driving around you have to understand sometimes i'm in the middle of the night sometimes i'm just noticing you know, all of us, you know, we have to, you know, don't forget about, you know, don't forget about them. They're working hard. They're risking their lives. Like, be patient with them. I saw the other day a, little, you know, a lady got a little upset, you know, you know, at a, at, a, at a storekeeper and that sort of thing. I'm like, you know, everyone, let's just be patient and, and get along. And these people are really, you know, risking their lives for us, you know. So I think it needs to be documented. As you've done. And, and we'll just show as well, you've also captured phase one as people start to return to uh, the new situation and reopening. But, but as, we're, as we're showing these pictures, I'm interested in, as you said, you, you've witnessed some, some interactions. What has, oh, Niagara Falls too, there you were there. Um, what has this done, George, to your relationship with 
people, your, your perspectives on people, your relationship maybe with your city? My heart is just, you have to understand I'm dealing with food shelters, food banks, homeless shelters. I'm seeing how other people live. And it's really strange. Like I'm so caught up in the, in the red carpets all the time. Sometimes you forget about the real world. And this project led me to see how people are, are suffering financially and they're scared for their health. I've had people's children have had COVID, okay? It's not just elderly. So this is a very serious problem we've never, ever had. And this is, this is the real deal. And so we really need to like embrace it and just be careful. And to document it, which you're doing, not just with your own work. Can you give me a little bit of a synopsis of what you're doing with the Canada COVID portrait, inviting all of us to, to participate? After I started taking photos and started looking at those photos in 1918, I thought the Canadian Archive should have this. And I thought, who is doing this? So I thought of, of doing this project. And, you know, uh, you know, I'm merging with, um, you know, Sarah Angel, who's supporting uh, the, the, um, the, the Portrait Gallery of Canada. And we decided I want to bring everyone's photos together. You can have a cell phone. You, can be, you don't even have to be a professional photographer. You can be a grandmother. I want everyone's stories. I want, like, you know, I would love to, like, take everything and collect it and, and do, like, a massive exhibit or a coffee table book and showcase Canada, uh, you know, during this, this pandemic. Fantastic idea. So hopefully people will do that and they can find out all about it online. Again, called the Canada COVID Project, a portrait rather, with uh, George as one of the main organizers. I have to let you go. We'll look at some more pictures as we do, but I want to ask you this one question because you mentioned, you know, you're so used to the red carpet, the rarefied artifice maybe in some ways uh, of Hollywood and celebrity life. And here you are. Do you think you will go back to that? Do you think we will go back to that kind of society and those kind of values? Long time. Until we get a vaccine, I honestly think crowds, concerts, red carpets, Hollywood, they, they won't be able to take a chance. Celebrities are not going to be taking a chance. Um, you know, and it's sad, but we will get to it. It might not be in September, but, you know, I, I guarantee you one day we'll get back to it. As soon as they discover that vaccine, everybody will go back to doing back, back to their normal. But right now we still have to practice social distancing. So yeah. interesting to get your thoughts. You know what? It'll be great to get your celebrity portraits again. But may I just tell you that your work right now with what you're doing, it is stunning, George. So you just keep right on going. I'll look forward to your day. I just want to, I just want to like encourage everybody, please, like, Again, you don't have to be a professional. Just take your photos and just go to like hashtag Canada COVID portrait and follow us at Canada COVID portrait. It's just, you know, let's all, you know, we're all in this together and we love to see like everyone's collaboration photos. Beautiful. We at Canada COVID portrait, hashtag Canada COVID portrait. George Pimentel, thank you for the time. Thanks for sharing your artistic brilliance with us this morning.